Professor Wang, so glad to have you here.、Uh, we know that your team has just published an article in the journal Nature about the evolutionary history of the baobab tree, and you share the key findings of your research.、Uh, actually, the baobab tree is、uh, a series of、uh, star species in Madagascar and also、uh, some other continents,、uh, Africa continent and Australia. So. Uh, eight species of them, six of them, it's in Madagascar, and、uh, one species in Africa continent, and another one is in Western、uh, Australia. In our study,、uh, we have mainly performed a series of the、uh, genomic、uh, analysis on the whole genome sequences of the eight baobab trees in the world. Our major findings is、uh, first one is uh, uh, we found that the stem lineage of、uh, Adansolia. Originated around 41 million years ago, and the diversified uh, uh, of the detection is around 20 million years ago.、Uh, it's, a, it's a very important the first time to、uh, evaluate the whole genome of the, the detection and also and the proposal of the origination of these、uh, specific、uh, plant groups、uh, based on the. Uh, gene flow and also genetic analysis of the taxon, we found that、uh, the historic hybridization among the, all the baba trees. We think、uh, the regulation of these、uh, baba trees, the extent eight species is from Madagascar, and the species of the,、uh, the Australia and African continent are sisters, and they both from the Madagascar to Australia and the African continent. The third one is、uh, about、uh, our findings and、uh, our research enabled the researchers to reevaluate the conservation status and also the strategies for future、uh, conservation of、uh, baobab trees in、uh, Madagascar. So you just mentioned、uh, the status of the species、uh, needs to be reevaluated. So in the paper, you said. The IUCN underestimates the actual status of the species. Can you elaborate on this? For the baobabs、uh, in Madagascar, all the six species are listed in the IUCN protected or endangered species list. So it's very important. But uh, uh, after our study, we combine the ecological data and analysis, and also some of the genetic、uh, studies. So、uh, some of the species. Should uh, uh, re-evaluate and for the conservation status in the future. Six species of the baobab in Madagascar are facing some、uh, big problems. For example, the climate change of the、uh, suitable habitat for some of the species、uh, is losing, and also、uh, for some of them, the genetic、uh, diversity is uh, uh, very low. And also, some of them, the population size, the individuals of the, some of the species, is declining. For example, the Australis and also the Grand Diary, the two species, the、uh, very low. Regeneration rate, and also even some of the species, for example, the、uh, Adansonia zar, is an aggressive one. It, it's occupied almost all the habitats of the other five species in Madagascar. For almost all the species, the regeneration rate is、uh, about three percent. It's pretty low, and you, it's very difficult to find some seedlings or young、uh, plants in the fields. So less than, I think, the five meters high of individuals in the field is very difficult to find and the new technology and the new data to support in that、uh, we should uh, uh, upgrade the conservation status of the two species uh, to uh, uh, up a higher level. As one of the leading institution for this research. Uh, Sino Africa Research Center has been established for over ten years, and the WBG is the implementing agency on China side. What kind of cooperation and exchanges have been carried out between the the two sides in recent years? 
in the coming 10 years, we are, uh, and I think we are trying our best to uh, finish, to document all the 7,000 plant species in Kenya. A land project, uh, for example, is about the uh, uh, ecological monitoring. We also uh, have some of the scientists working together on the evaluation of the water quality, in, for example, in Kenya, in Ethiopia. And we're trying our best to uh, help the, the, our African scientists to establish uh, uh, either the, for the research and also for the, some of the guidance for how to use the water and how to manage the water resources in these countries. And uh, another one is uh, what we are trying to do for the food supply security. We established a uh, uh, modern agriculture demonstration zone in uh, Kenya and also have some uh, branches in, for example, Zimbabwe, Ethiopia. So we're trying to uh, provide some help for, uh, for our partners, for, for the local communities to improve uh, either for the development and uh, how to balance the natural resources protection and uh, the economic development. How will the cooperation promote high quality development of Belt and Road Initiative? As, as we know, Africa, African countries are also an important part of the initiative. 10 years uh, practice and also it's the 10 years uh, of the Belt and Road Initiative. So we are trying our best to provide some case study or practice to share the experience with some more scientists to help the developing countries in Africa. And the second thing is about uh, the joint contribution. So we should work together hand by hand. I think that's very important. Third one is uh, the shared uh, benefits. So we share the ideas, we share our experience and also the lessons we have learned. So we, we have some, I think, a very good uh, solutions for the common questions or common problems we are facing. So I think that is uh, important for, for both the, the African countries and China and some other developing countries.